Hi everyone, my name is Hong Zhou Fang. I'm a PhD student from University of California, Davis. Today I'm going to present our work, RapTag, exploiting cloud schedulers to guide collocation attacks. Nowadays, cloud computing has been very popular. Customers can utilize resources provided by cloud providers in a pay-as-you-go manner. Hence, there is no need to go through the expensive and tedious steps of constructing their own infrastructure. And personal users are able to utilize the rich compute power of big clusters. However, there are security concerns regarding this scenario, since resource sharing in public infrastructure can cause security problems. Although there are isolation mechanisms deployed in the cloud to prevent one user to access secret information from other users, security vulnerabilities still exist in the cloud. The novel microarchitectural attacks can be a possible threat to cloud users since they exploit hardware design flaws and are hence difficult to be detected or patched. These attacks include side channel attacks, uh, transient execution attacks, Rohammer attacks, fault attacks, etc. In a paper published more than 10 years ago, the workflow of such attacks in the cloud has been summarized as shown in this page. First of all, the, the attackers need to submit the attack program. The attacker will usually submit multiple such instances to maximize the chance of getting co-located on the same machine as victim. After attack instances are scheduled, the, the attackers check if the victim is on the same node by technologies like sniffing network, etc. After that, the real attacks will be initiated. We can see from the above steps that no matter how powerful the attack is, without achieving co-location, it is destined to fail. Achieving co-location, therefore, is an important prerequisite here. Studying how collocation can be achieved is important. If attackers only flood their applications on the cloud, it will be easy to defend. Without specially designed strategies to achieve collocation, it will be difficult for attackers to launch subsequent attacks. For defenders, since it is relatively hard to defend against microarchitectural attacks on hardware level, preventing collocation to be easily achieved is a more ideal way. Since tasks like resource allocation node assignments are performed by cloud scheduler, it is important to study the vulnerabilities in cloud schedulers and know about how to patch the scheduling algorithm. The focus of this work will hence be on the collocation step. We pay special attention to the cloud, to the scheduler and answer the question, what specific feature makes it easier for attackers to achieve collocation? We only cared about the collocation step, especially how to exploit scheduler to achieve collocation. We do not care about how collocation is detected and we don't consider how specific types of attack works since related technologies are already discussed in literature. In this work, we assume cloud providers are trusted, which means they will not assist attackers. We assume cloud providers simply treat all users equally and schedule applications submitted by users according to resource situation in the cluster and user specified requirements. We assume users are all equal, no matter malicious or not. They, are, they all have the same privilege and can only access resources that are assigned to them. That is to say, the actions attackers can take are limited to the same set of normal users. However, we assume that the attacker can know the information about victim applications, like specific execution features, resource requirements, etc. This is reasonable since a lot of applications running on the cloud are open source and the data is uh, sensitive. We also assume that non-malicious users always try to optimize uh, scheduling outcome by specifying the most suitable resources and most suitable nodes to run on. We will briefly introduce the scheduler we target. First, we assume user submitted scheduling requirements can be classified as resource specifications and affinity specifications. Resource specifications describe how much general resources like CPU and memory are required. Affinity specifications, on the other hand, is more flexible and allow users to have control over scheduling outcome. Node affinity are descriptions about whether or not the application should be placed on a certain node. 
And interfication affinity describes whether or not this application can be co-located with certain application instances. The scheduler we target in this study is filter score scheduler. The diagram is showing this page. This type of scheduling algorithm is widely used utilizing frameworks like OpenStack and Kubernetes. There are two steps, filtering and scoring. They are both based on user specifications. As we show, as shown in this page, filtering step filters out all nodes that are not suitable to run the scheduled replication, for example, not having enough resources or not meeting the requirement of affinity. Then scoring step assigns every node that score according to resources utilization and affinity matching situations and picks the one with highest score. Targeting this type of scheduler, we propose a method based on replicating user specification. That's why it's called RepTech. Recall that in our assumption, users will uh, submit specification to obtain more optimal placement of applications. At the same time, attackers have to access have access to analyzing user uh, applications. Therefore, attackers can infer what the user specifications are and exploit scheduling schedulers features to increase the chance of getting collocation. The first step of our, of our attack is to infer victim submitted affinity requirements or preferences. The second step is to replicate these specifications and submit to the cloud schedule while keeping the resource specifications minimal to prevent target nodes being filtered out because of resource constraints. Later in our experiment, we will show that this method is effective in a heterogeneous cloud setting. Here comes the evaluation results on both behavior simulator and a uh, real cluster. The simulation part of our evaluation is conducted on a Python behavioral simulator written by us. The implementation is based on Kubernetes scheduling algorithm. We simulate the behaviors of a real cluster scheduler and generate scheduling results. In our experiment, server configurations are generated randomly. Applications user specifications are randomly generated as well. In this way, the, we mimic a real cluster with various users and various types of applications running simultaneously. The cluster experiments are conducted on a Kubernetes cluster deployed on Cloud Lab, which is an open source uh, platform to provide researchers access to cloud cluster infrastructure. Since there is not enough uh, heterogeneous cluster, uh, cluster hardware support, we use the labeling function in Kubernetes to create clusters with different fa features. Applications are randomly selected from popular Docker containers, while the user specifications are generated randomly. Here comes our results. First, we want to answer this question. What are the factors that can affect our success rate? We vary resources and affinity feature requirements of all users submit and try to see how the collocation rate will differ. Second, we want to know how large, uh, how high the collocation rate can reach in our heterogeneous cluster, since it indicates how successful our attack can be. We first vary the maximum resources user can request, which generates different distribution of resource requirements of user applications. It can be seen from this page that no collocation, uh, the collocation rate merely changes during our experiment, which means resource requirements are not related to collocation rate. Then we change the problem prob probability of uh, users having affinity features. In this figure, PMN and PMA represent the probability of a user generating node affinity and interpretation affinity respectively. A higher p-value indicates that more affinity features are used. It can be seen from this page that generally collocation rate grows with the use of uh, affinity features. That is to say, our method works well when the victim uses more uh, affinity features. And in this figure, we can see that with single instance attack, attackers' collocation rate can reach as high as around 70% when affinity features are extensively used by users. So how about we use multiple instances to further improve the collocation rate? As shown in this page, we can see that a growth in collocation rate 
uh, is observed. In experiments related to the blue line, we add the special label to prevent attack instances to be scheduled together and increase coverage of locations. We can see that this additional strategy helps achieving higher collocation rate, and the collocation rate can be around uh, be about around seven uh, about eighty percent with only five applications in our experiments. We then repeat the similar process on a cluster of 40 nodes. In this figure, we represent user affinity configuration with a four-digit string. For example, one to one to means the user generates generates one required node affinity specification, two preferred node affinity, one required interpretation affinity, and two preferred interpretation affinity specifications. We can see that there is a similar trend in this page. For multi-instance attack, increasing the attack instances does improve the, the attack success rate. Also from the four figures shown in this page, we can see that collocation rate is only related to the number of affinity specifications users generate and irrelevant to the types of user uh, of victim applications, percentage of victim applications or total number of applications in the system. Targeting the, the attack method we propose there can be a mitigation technology that is easy to integrate to schedulers. The proposed techno mitigation technology is, uh, is shown in this page. Our mitigation strategy suggests that schedulers can intentionally skip affinity check during filtering. For each node with a speci specified probability, the affinity check step is skipped, hence the possible number of candidates will increase. Why this work is intuitive? Because the original scheduling algorithm considers heterogeneity, the search space can be easily reduced, hence the scheduling results will be predictable. By adding randomness, however, uh, the search space is enlarged and it becomes harder for attackers to accurately locate victims. The results of mitigation is shown in this page. We can see that after inserting randomness to a scheduling process, the collocation rate can indeed drop. Uh, but it comes with cost, violation of user specifications, as shown by the green bars and the table in this page. Then it comes some uh, discussion of our interesting findings. First of all, this work shows a trade-off in the design of scheduling algorithm. Letting users have control over scheduling outcome enables better performance and better user satisfaction since they can choose to run on nodes that are more suitable. However, it causes security problems since location in the cloud can now be relatively accurately determined and exploited by attackers. Our work also reveals an interesting loop line model when attackers try to launch multiple instances. We found that there is an optimal number for instances to launch. Before reaching this number, collocation rate is bounded by a number of attack instances and issuing more instances can indeed help improve collocation rate. However, after reaching this point, uh, the increase in collocation rate is not significant. We summarize some suggestions for cloud managers, users and attackers. For cloud managers, we recommend that heterogeneity should be exposed as little as possible and scheduling algorithm should be randomized. This is again, a trade-off to, to be made between security and performance. For cloud uh, users, we also recommend that heterogeneity should be utilized as little as possible unless there is a need for performance. Also the scheduling specification should be kept confidential. For attackers, we suggest that target application should be started and execution pattern should be understood. During the step of achieving collocation, multiple attack instances with possible sophistications can be used to increase coverage. However, the, the attackers should be aware of the trade-off point. Finally, the conclusion of this work. In this work, we reviewed the affinity features in filter score schedules. Uh, that are uh, prone to be exploited. We propose a novel attack method called RepTag to increase the chance of getting collocation in a heterogeneous cluster. Based on this, we also propose a mitigation strategy. We summarize guidelines for cloud managers and users to help increase the security level of, of cloud environment. We believe our work can help the community be better aware of the security problem. Thank you.